Hi everybody, welcome back to Prem Powder Pout. So the other day I did a little survey to see what everyone wanted me to do for my next red carpet tutorial. If they wanted me to do Brit Marling or if they wanted me to do Angelina Jolie from the BAFTAs. Everybody wanted Angelina Jolie. Angelina's is typical Angelina. It's gorgeous, it's a bit dark and sultry and I'm going to show you how to do it quite quickly and easily. So I need to give myself that sort of balmy complexion that Angelina had. So I'm going to use a little bit of my Beauty Flash Balm by Clarins. And a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just going to use a small amount. Next I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. I'm now going to conceal under my eyes and I'm going to use my under eye concealer and highlighter by Elf. I'm just going to highlight a little bit around here. I'm going to pop a little bit down here to highlight. This is a really lightweight concealer, so this isn't going to add any cakiness, which I love about it. Next I'm going to put a base color on my eyes, and this is Sin by Urban Decay, and it's the 24 hour eyeshadow sticks. I absolutely love these. They really do stay put, so this is a good thing to wear when you're going out all night, and they're really easy to apply. I'm just going to pop it all over the lid and just go slightly over that socket bone and then I'm just going to use my finger to pat it in and smudge it out. By the 24-7 shadow again I'm going to use Juju and this is a nice sort of um, taupey color and I'm going to go into the socket of the eye. And I'm going to take a synthetic brush which happens to be an Urban Decay brush as well and blend that out. And I'm just going right in and creating a nice shadow. Angelina has quite deep set eyes. So. I like these shadows because they're quite sheer as well and very buildable. Okay, so here I've created a typical Angelina Jolie flick. And now using a cream eyeliner by e.l.f. I'm going to create the same on the other eye. And then I'm going to just smudge around the edges because she had the flick but it was a little bit soft around the edges. And that's what I liked about this look is it was a little bit undone. Alright, so I'm going to clean up under the eyes a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit more darkness under the eyes as well. Taking what's left on that flat angle brush, I'm going to pop some underneath and attach those lines. And then I'm going to buff it out with this flat brush. I'm just going to line my eyes just a little bit. And then I'm next going to sort my brows out. Just comb them into place and just fill where I need to. And this is my Maybelline Master Shape in Blonde. I'm going to take some clear mascara by Boots Number no. 7, brush through, and get those nice and polished. Using my Inglot palette, I'm just going to take this darky browny shimmery color and I'm just going to deepen just in the creases just a little bit. I'm 
Then taking a matte light colour in the corner by Inglot, I'm going to highlight a little bit underneath my brow. I'm now going to use my Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals and just use a bit of powder to set some of the foundation but not get it too matte. So I'm just going to go along the T-zones a little bit. Using Benefit's Their Real Mascara. I'm going to get a nice lick of mascara. I'm now going to contour a little bit with My Harmony by MAC. Using Bare Minerals French Kiss Blusher, I'm going to add a pop of pink to the cheekies. I'm now going to line my lips with Flowers uh, Lip Pencil in Nude. And I'm just going to go outside the lip line a little bit. And I'm going to use Pretty Please by MAC all over my lips. And I'm just going to deepen the color with a nude lip liner. And there you go, that is my Angelina BAFTA inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!